Hey guys, wanted to share a tip with you. I shared on Big Bass Battle in the last episode. I didn't really go into a lot of detail about it on the show, so I wanted to give you a chance to uh, check it out here in more detail. Uh, if you haven't watched Big Bass Battle, it's on WFN and NBC Sports. And anyway, what I was talking about was using uh, wide gap hooks and the problems that they have and and really any any bait that you fish that is, is thick in nature uh, like this LFT craw tube uh, using a wide gap hook can can catch you a lot more fish uh, because it's it's wider it's gonna make sure that you get a good hook set when you go to set the hook versus a just regular worm hook uh, I do not recommend using these wide gap hooks uh, when you're fishing worms, uh, stick baits, things like that, thinner bodied baits, because they tend to have problems on the hook sets. They, they roll around, uh, just the geometry of the hook is, is not as good for getting a, a solid hook set. And they're especially a culprit when you're fishing these thick baits, uh, because when they come out of the package, they tend to angle down a little bit. And if, if you look right here, I've modified this just a little bit, uh, but it's still angling down into the bait. You know, this is an LFT craw tube. Um, it's it's not super thick, but it's it's thick enough where you need a wide gap hook. And this owner hook right here is an extra wide gap hook. It's angling down to the bait. And what that's going to do when you go to set the hook, unless that bass just grabs on right here and presses the bait down where that hook can come through it's going to roll around it's not going to catch the hook point is not going to catch in the fish's mouth and you're going to miss the fish or you're going to feel them for a second and then the fish is going to let go it's going to pop out it's going to cause you a lot of misery believe me i fished uh, one day I, I had so many bites and i missed so many fish on a tube I came off the water and i was talking to somebody about it and they said what are you throwing i said a tube and they said well did you bend your hook out and i said no i've never done it before so I started bending my hook out it made a tremendous difference in uh, how many fish I caught so all you got to do is go ahead and thread the hook onto your bait and then take a pair of pliers grab the hook at the bend and bend upward and then you should have the bait be even with the hook or just a little bit out. If you're still having problems after it's even, bend it a little bit more out. Another trick you can do if you're, if you're having problems even after doing that, because this hook tends to roll around a lot, is take your pliers and bend the hook to the side. Left or right, it doesn't matter. But when you do that, what's gonna happen is when that bait goes to rolling around in the fish's mouth when you set the hook the the direction of the hook going off to the left or right is going to catch along with it being angled up so if you're having problems catching fish on thicker baits using wide gap hooks especially with tubes and things like this make sure you bend your hook out it'll make a tremendous difference and how many fish you catch. And this also applies to worm hooks and jigs as well. If you're having problems uh, hooking fish, bend it out a little bit. And jigs, we can get into a whole nother segment on that. Uh, but wide gap hooks, bend them out a little bit, make sure it's even or a little bit out, bend it to the side. If you're having any more problems, you're gonna catch a lot more fish, 50% more, I guarantee it. Well, maybe not that many, but try it, it'll work for you. See you later. Chipotle to hang five donkeys on. What is that? It's a hut. It's a hut. I mean, dude, that thing looks like it just came out of the water. <laughs>